Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Oracle developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to check if a clob column contains a specific string, but they're running into issues with large clobs. They mention using the code to char clob column like sent s, but it's not working as expected. So what are the alternatives for efficiently searching within large clobs in Oracle 11 2.4.0? Let's find out. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To check if a clob contains a specific string in Oracle, we need to use a different approach than the standard like operator, especially for large clobs. One effective method is to use the dbms.instr function, which allows us to search for a substring within a clob. Here's how you can implement this in your SQL query. You can check if the result of dbms.lob.instr is greater than zero. This query will return all rows where the clob contains the specified string. It's efficient and works well with large clobs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this test, the user compares the efficiency of two methods for checking if a C lob contains a specific string. The C lob column has a length of 515 18 characters, and they are searching for a string of length 32. The results show the average execution time for the instr function is 0.797 seconds, while the like function averages at 0.823 seconds. This indicates that instr is slightly more efficient. Here's a summary of the test results comparing the two methods across multiple trials, highlighting the performance differences. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you encounter an ORAD22835 error when checking if a clob contains a string, there's a workaround. You can use DBMS lob functions to search within the clob. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.